Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7 and we are here today with the Starry Skies pack getting ready to have their very first litter. So this is very very exciting. We are here with the beautiful Star Dancer and her surprise mate Geo who kind of popped up out of nowhere so I'm still really happy that he happens to be around and that he is part of our life now. Isn't that right Geo? And we are getting ready to finish marking the territory and having the very first litter of wolves that these two are, have been expecting. I thought Star Dancer was only going to be able to have a single litter because we thought Geo was dead, but he has popped back up from the dead, much to our delight, and so we'll probably be able, if the random generators and the things that you guys vote on in the straw polls hold out, to have several litters with them, as long as their luck holds out and they don't manage to have- ah! I said luck holds out! Go away, bear! Geo, help! How did I know? How did I know? I, I kind of came over here because I was like, well, we need to chase away. Okay, she hasn't been hit by the grizzly bear once. Can we just tell everybody how amazing Star Dancer is as a result of that? Because that is just so cool. She hasn't had a single blow landed on her yet. But that doesn't mean we need to get like really, really cocky about that. All right, so let's go ahead and put down a little more pee. <laughs> So we can finally have these puppies because I think that she is more than ready to welcome her first litter. The welcome spring, welcome all of the babies, and here we go. All right, you guys, we have now marked our territory. Geo has come back from the dead. We're saying that even do though you don't see her, Wisp does show up quite a bit. Geo's sister, Wisp, who is a white wolf and a little bit weak of constitution, does show up quite a bit, and she helps out with raising the puppies and helps out with the pack, and the pack helps her out as well. I'm kind of tempted to say that every now and then we need to kill an extra elk in order to sustain Wisp, and I think that's a pretty good idea, so we'll kind of keep that in the back of our mind as we go on, and that might be a trait that we use again in the future as well. So let's go ahead and we're going to see oh, the babies we're going to have. Okay, you guys. So we have three females and one little male. So we have the names all picked out. We have Ty and we've got names of plants. So we're using a plant name, a star name, a star name, and a, a rock name, like a mineral name, to kind of add to the expansion of the wolf name. So we have time, and then we have another female, and this is going to be Mira. And then we have our one little male, and this is actually going to be Draco. So Draco, after the stars, and then another female, and this is going to be Quartz. So this is Quartz after the minerals. So Time, Mira, Draco, and Quartz, with Draco being the only male. All right. And let's get a good glimpse at what they look like. And they actually have a pretty easy year. So lucky these guys. That's what they managed to get picked. <gasps> there we go. Time, Mira, Draco, Quartz. Look at you little ones. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, and Quartz is just like her daddy, and everybody else looks like their mommy, and this is just adorable. All right, come along, puppies. I hear, I already am hearing, like, coyote sounds, and I don't like that. So, here we go. Star Dancer's a little bit older as one of the wolves, but she actually needs to figure out how to bring all of her puppies back. Come here, Quartz. Come here, Mira. All right, come here, Quartz. I do not want our puppies to immediately start dying off, so time to gather them up. But what a beautiful spring day. We should go ahead and maybe make it night or... All right, got all the puppies gathered in one place for a moment. All right, everybody. Family howling session. That's right. Hey, you guys want to play? You guys want to play? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, they're so cute. Oh, look at how adventurous they are, too. Okay, so time is extremely adventurous. And we need to go ahead and gather up time and put you back. But you guys are probably wondering, so Siri, yesterday you mentioned they have a very unique challenge that won't start until after they're born. And yes, they do. So the very unique challenge with our puppies this time around is that they are actually going to end up rolling in a plant that can be a little bit toxic to them. So unfortunately, there's just been a toxic plant that has bloomed next to the den. And so we need to do whatever we can in order to make sure that the puppies don't get sick from that. And what that means is we are going to wash the puppies. We are going to have to pick up one puppy at a time, or all of them if we so wish. And we're going to have to defend them now, which is going to be a little bit hairy. 
And we have to take them from the den site all the way down to one of the pools, one of the water pools that's nearby. Because you guys know where Geo is actually hanging out, probably gathering some food right now. That is the nearest source of water. So we need to go get a puppy and walk with them or dip them into the water and bring them back. And we have to do that with all four puppies before we can leave for the summer hunting grounds. So, oh, time, time, you're the first one targeted by a coyote, no less. And mom's not gonna let that happen. All right. And that's our very first coyote kill. Sorry, but not sorry, coyote. You're coming in here to eat all of our babies and that's not acceptable. All right, so the baby's okay. Geo, Geo's way down there getting some food. All the puppies are being good and staying by the den. Good job, puppies. All right, we'll play with you a little bit. Let's do a little bit of play bowing. There you go, guys. I know, right? Good puppies. Yeah, you're figuring it out. All right, mom's getting a little hungry and she needs to pee on things in order to make sure the markers are strong. So let's go ahead and increase our markers. But yeah, so before we leave for the summer hunting grounds, that is our new challenge. We need to look at Gio. <laughs> He's just peeing on everything as he goes by. But that is our new challenge. We need to go and we need to bathe our puppies, which is going to be a little bit interesting. I've never really tried to remove a puppy from the den site before it's time to take them to the summer hunting grounds. So I don't know if this is going to be absolutely tragic and terrible. But the basic idea is that we just cannot take them to the summer hunting grounds until we wash them. So I've never, ever, ever, ever tried to do that before. It's going to be a very interesting experience. There we go. All right. 100% territory marked. A good howl to steal the deal. And then let's go ahead and we're going to go get some food. Because I think that this is a hungry mama. And, oh, that's right. We don't have any elk nearby. I got... Geo? Geo, are you a little antsy about something? Do we need to go by and defend our puppies? Is that what's going on? All right, let's wiggle up and see if that's what's... Oh, I've fudged the knuckles. That's what's going on. All right, well, you know what, Mr. Bear? Um, this is some unacceptable behavior. Hey, 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 You're not allowed to, like, oh, wow, there's a lot of food around here. You're not allowed to damage Star Dancer. Get out of here. All right, so Star Dancer has taken some hits, but thankfully there's some food nearby. Who knows? Maybe there's even we can, a, a little a la warrior cat some herbs that she can chew on. I know dogs will sometimes, like, eat grass when they're sick, but this is completely not that situation. There we go. So she's at least recovered and she's gotten herself a little bit of food. So that's good at least. And then I think there's actually some food like right here as well. So we can go and grab some food for the puppies down here. And then we'll have to do a little bit of hunting because we actually don't have any elk that are on this side of the river to eat off of in order to take care of our babies. So wow, look at all these flowers. Geo, there you are. I'm so I'm so happy that we're gonna hopefully be okay. We're gonna take good care of our puppies. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be such an adventure to get them down and bathed before taking them to the summer hunting grounds too. Trying to find new events that work with the game requirements uh, is pretty interesting. A lot of people will often give suggestions for things to do that you cannot do because of the way the game mechanics work. And that's part of the art of storytelling. Hello, little one. You're about to be eaten by a coyote. Okay, we'll take care of that. Mira, don't you worry. That's part of the art of storytelling in these kinds of situations inside of the medium of video games and nature is figuring out how to weave the story together from a setting where the games sometimes down coyote throw their own aspects at you and I absolutely adore it. So let's go finish feeding the puppies. Yay! We've defended the puppies and now we just need to feed them. And then we're going to go do a hunt with our wonderful mate. We also need to kind of catch our breath. Poor Star Dancer. <laughs> it's been a little bit, a little bit of an exciting few moments with her babies already. But she's done a really good job. And we've still got a little bit of food to take to them. And it looks like Geo is staying by. We're just going to pee over here. I think... Oh no, not the plane! Not the plane! Not the plane! Geo, it's the plane! Quick, feed the babies! Time, Draco, take the food! And get into the little, get into the little den. Mom will be back. All right, have a howl and then stay there. We're getting out of here. Geo, run for it. It's the plane. Poor Star Dancer. This could put our babies at risk. This could seriously put our babies at risk if she like hears the plane and freaks out. 
Oh, it's getting so much closer. If she hears the plane and she freaks out, like, well, no, go away, coyote. Ah, uh, well, there's a coyote or something. Now I'll have to track, like, track that coyote instead of track food. Because the coyote will stick around and eat the babies and you don't get rid of the coyote. Geo! Geo, is it gone? Okay, it's quieting down a little bit. Phew. Alright, poor star dancer. See, she I just don't think she'd be able to focus on anything if she knew that there was the plane nearby. So even if her puppies were in danger, I think her sheer terror, her sheer uncontrollable terror over the plane and the biologist and the people would just completely overwhelm her. There we go. Phew! But thankfully we managed to get rid of that coyote, and you do have to take out every coyote. It always amazes me at the people who don't know that, like, they get really, 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 really mad when the wolves will kill the coyotes. They're like, oh, you're being so mean, and it's like, the way the game is set up, the coyotes will stick around and they will kill the puppies when you walk by with them, uh, when you, during the summer hunting ground, like, movement. So you kind of have to do it, guys. So there's just that, but it always amazes me how people don't know that about Wolf Quest. So, all right, let's go ahead and take down this elk. And we're actually driving her straight towards the puppy, so hopefully this will end well. Hey, Gio! Gio, a little help here? Star Dancer does not have that much stamina, so a little bit of assistance would be awesome. All right, can we get a little closer? Maybe a little bit of a walk, 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 walk. There we go. And... Okay, now now we're going past the puppy, so let's let's tilt her a little bit. All right, come on, Geo. We can tag team this elk. There, I, the beautiful, delicious elk rump just waiting for you to bite it, Geo. There we go. All right, so we're getting a little closer at being able to take her down. Come on, Geo, you can do it. Come on, Geo. Another good nip. Another good nip to those juicy hindquarters. Yeah, there we go. Now she's not going anywhere. All right. Come on, come on, come on. We've got this, you two. We've got this. We're gonna take food back to the babies. We're getting a little bit hungry now. All right, so we'll fill up. Oh, we need to put down some territory marker and we need to make sure that we get a little bit of the pack affinity up and going. All right, there we go. And then I think next time we might try to start bathing the babies, which is going to be a whole new kind of challenge. And like I keep saying, I cannot wait to hear some more of your guys' event ideas that you might have. Um, for what we can try to do within the confi like the confines of the game mechanics and also what is actually doable. Because some people will be like, kill 20 bull elk, and that would just be miserable. <laughs> so there's a fine balance in being able to come up with these challenges that actually is a real skill. That's why I'm so grateful for you guys who have great ideas that we do end up using because it shows that there's a real amount of skill and thoughtfulness that has to go into doing these things. It just can't be... The first thing that you come up with every single time. Oh, and now it's a beautiful storm. Oh, it's like the Stormy Skies family is saying hello too. All right, so time. Oh, the Stormy Skies family is saying hello to the point where they're lighting trees on fire. Mira, Draco, Quartz, let's give you all some food. And then let's play with the puppies until the pack affinity is all the way to the top. Because I think that would be fun. All right, so where's the, the tree that's on fire? Is it really, is it the tree right next? To, oh, it's the tree right next to the den. That's fine. That's just, that's just like Grandma Storm saying hello, right? All right, we're going to grin at the puppies. They're grinning back. We're going to ears forward alert at the puppies. Oh, and Geo's giving Traco a little bit extra food. All right, tail wag? Tail wag, puppies? Tail wag? Maybe, maybe roll on the ground with mom? Hey, you guys, you guys want to play? You guys want to play? Roll on the ground with mom in the storm? I think Star Dancer likes the storm. It's like a whole bunch of the family members. Hey, yeah, Draco, you want to play? Yeah, hey, time. Come on, come on. You want to play? Yeah, who's a good puppy? Yeah, who's a good puppy? All right. Somehow this is not helping you guys get your pack affinity up, though. Just experience, I think. All right, well, we'll give it a good howl or two in just a second. Come on. All right, who's the most playful puppy? Let's see who responds the best to, like, our offer to play. So if I go play bow, Geo play bows, and the puppies ignore us. So let's try again. Play bow. 
and Mira. So it looks like Mira, that's a nice way to be able to tell just how playful their personalities are. So it looks like Mira is extremely playful. Time likes to wander off. And Draco and Quartz really want to grow big and strong. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from all of them now. All right, so now that we have increased pack affinity again, what happens if we do playful bow now? Who wants to play? Yeah, see, Quartz is tackling her sister, so I think Quartz wants to kind of grow up to be a big, strong wolf. And Time is snoozing, so she likes to do her own thing. Anybody? Come on, anybody want to play with Mom? And the only one who pays attention is Mira. That's an adorable way to be able to kind of start to distinguish their personalities. We'll have to make sure we do that more often, because that's just awesome. All right, well, Geo is relaxing, and all the puppies seem to be doing well. So we will work on feeding them up, and we will work on taking them down to put them in the pond to bathe them, and then bring them back up to the den before we go to the summer hunting grounds next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.